Hey guys, it's Baban and I'm back with another tutorial and in this one we're going to be having a look at a technique that I use to help me define the planes of the face and how that helps me with both drawing the face and keeping it symmetrical and also how it helps me with painting. Okay, so let's do a quick preview of what we're going to be looking at. The first thing I'm going to cover is just a quick review of the formula that I usually use for drawing faces and then we're going to look at this additional little formula I use on top of that to define the planes of the face. After I've shown you guys that, I'm going to go and redline some examples of things that I've already done with some lighting on just to show you how it works and how it works with different expressions and warp in the face slightly. Then once we've looked at those, we're going to go and draw some examples using the formula and this new formula. And then once they're cleaned up, we're going to go and test out some different values and lighting on them so that we can show off that structure that we've built and see how it'll help you with placing your values as well as your lines. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to do a really quick recap of what I mentioned in the last video. I will put a link to that now and at the end if you want to go and watch that one first. This is just going over the basic kind of formation of a head and plotting it out. So the way I'll go about it is just draw my circle for where the cranium is going to be. And then I'll wrap a shape around it as though it is a piece of paper and then that gives me the kind of curve around the top of the head and around where the chin is in a 3D shape. And it also gives me this little bit of depth to the side that I join in at about halfway across the head so that I've got my placement for the ears in terms of where the front and the back of the head is. Like this. Then after I've got that I will plot down where my eyes and everything are and I've got my basic plotted shape for a head. But there's also a few issues that I want to clean up on this because while this is a good starting point there's also a few other little things that I do to it to make everything a little bit more solid especially when I'm drawing stuff at different angles and also when I'm trying to warp the shape around and make different expressions. Now when I see people drawing faces at the side like this they'll draw like the head and then they'll bring it down and they'll draw like where the cheek is and the chin and then they just kind of carve it off like that and put some features in and the ear and while this is fine and kind of makes sense and it might be like a stylistic thing it's not always like super realistic and makes it non-symmetrical so we've got this cheek on one side but we don't have the same shape on the other because they're not really sure how to plot it in now that's the first thing that I want to go over in how I plot this stuff out so to make sure that I get this shape right on both sides what I will do is go and plot in the side of the face like this. I'll draw where I want my cheekbone, I'll bring it down to where the chin is and that gives me the side of the face and I think people get a little bit lost with the rest of it because they think oh I only need the line for the chin up here and then if they go and try and shade it and put in all the features and where the lighting is it's kind of difficult to figure that out. So what I do is actually mirror this shape. So I'll pull it around here and I'll have this front piece of the head. I can pull this around to find out where the edge of the eyebrow is going to be. I'll pull that down to where the eye is and then it'll come out again for where the top of the cheek is to define that shape and then back down to the chin. And you can see then that gives me a little bit easier of an indication for where everything is on the face. And it also helps me to pull apart where the front of the face is and where I've got more of the planes that are facing outwards to the side and the ones that are more facing forward. Now there is, there is a little bit of a curve in faces but it can be a little bit easier if you, especially if you want kind of harsh sharp lighting with really sharp edges to be able to block it out like this. And then if I go and put everything in, it's a little bit easier for me to go and line everything up because I've got the curve of where the eyebrow is gonna go to here. Got this bit that comes in where the eye is on both sides. You know, I can plot in where the shapes are for the eye. In there, I can stick my nose down in the middle like this, the mouth by there. And like I mentioned, there are some bits that are going to curve around a little bit more, like especially around eyebrows and eyes, they kind of tend to curve around a little bit more softly like this, rather than being a really, really sharp shape with this piece facing forward and this piece at the side. But this makes it like really, really easy to simplify it into just a couple of shapes. Um, also, with the way that I'm defining where the cheekbones are, that gives me the shape to know where it's going to be sticking out the most. Um, where highlights might be here, right at the top of the cheeks. Um, it's also going to give me the placement for putting in the cheekbones like this. So I'll be able to bring them down like that. And then we'll 
potentially get a lot of shadow under if people have like really defined cheekbones and then I can pull my shapes back from where the nose is and my eyebrows to get where the ear is gonna go where the back on the head that lines up with this halfway point that I mentioned earlier and carve it out and fix it a little bit and I've pretty much got a solid head that's gonna make sense and even if I go later and get rid of these lines it looks a little bit more solid like I can go and shade it in in these spaces if I want to if I want the light not hitting this shape I can go around the shapes that I drew to define these planes that are more face into the side and it's gonna make a lot more sense you can see it gets a little bit easier to start carving the shape out. And before we move on to some other examples of expressions and a bit more shading and stuff, I just want to show some examples of ones that I've already done using this technique and we're just going to overdraw them and plot out all these other little details that I've mentioned. So you can see here I've got the kind of curves going on and it comes down the side here halfway and that's where her ears join up. And because I've got this shape here and cheekbone there you can see I've plotted in my little bit of shadow for where the cheekbone is there you can see if I draw down the side of her face as well and indicate that shape that is also mirrored in this shape here and where that little bit of light is just hitting on the middle of her cheek around here um on this next one as well you can see that I've plotted it all out like this we've got the halfway point on the head there we've got the chin that comes down and if I just carve it out a little bit more, she's got a slightly different face, so there's a little bit more weight around this chunk. Well, that comes down to by the eyebrow here, indents in a little bit for the eye, and then we can see where I have indicated this and brought it down to the chin, and we can see that really, really clearly in the lighting underneath that. And that this front facing piece on her face is where all the light's hitting, and because this angle is pointing away, then it's all in shadow. And we're also going to be looking at some different expressions and how I can, how I use this to draw them a little bit easier. So on this one, you can see I've pulled this bottom piece down a little bit so that his face is a bit more stretched out. I've got the side of his face where his ear is. If I bring this down, we're slightly more forward. So this is going to kind of eat away into the side of his face a little bit more. And then I'm going to bring his cheek down like that and down to his chin. We've got a little bit of gap there at the side and mirror it on the other side that we know where the lighting goes so that his face is symmetrical and that comes down again. And because I've stretched this out, you also get a really, really good bit of help with drawing around the chin and the way that that stretches out. Um, we also get any awkward little bits when you have a front face in face and you get just that little bit at the side instead of just having to go and draw the edge of the face and then have it look a little bit off, you also get this little bit at the side, little slivers at the side of the face. But this shape as well is also giving me how this shape is pulling around as long as I've got where the bottom of the chin is and as long as I'm lining that up in a curve that makes sense like this and we've got that little bit of kind of perspective on it because it's going back a bit um, and this is also giving me a curve where the mouth needs to go and the way that it's kind of opening up as well as if you look at these last two you can see there is like a, quite a lot of difference in terms of the face shape so on my dude here we've got like really round shapes around his cheek but what's the face here is like super duper pointy. So we've got really, really sharp shapes. So it's not just something that you can apply in one kind of shape. It's more of a formula that's got this set shape to it for the front of the face. But you can go and warp that. You could have like a really big chin or you could have like someone with a really, really round face like this with a pointy chin. Um, and you can manipulate that as much as you like with any kind of like proportions that you want to be able to fit in. Okay, so I also mentioned some other things like when you want to warp the face around with the expressions, it makes it a little bit easier if you use this technique. So I'm going to go over that on a few of these as well. 
Okay, so now that we've looked at some examples, I've got some little bases here that I'm going to go and draw some on. Let's make his face kind of skinny and the edges of it kind of round. We're going to have the eyebrows here coming down to where we're going to have the eyes in here. It's going to curve around like that and we'll be able to get the curve of the eyebrows on top like that. We can plot a nose in. Let's just stick it by here for now bring that down and let's give him quite wide cheeks let's give him wide cheeks like this just to test it out and show you guys how you can walk it a bit and we can pull that down like this let's give kind of a rounded chin and this is a kind of an awkward angle too just to give you guys a bit of an example with that. I don't want to do it all at kind of regular angles. Uh, something that I want to show with this one too is that because I've got all this, I've still got a bunch of um, room at the sides. So we're going to get that as well. And I, I don't just have to draw this shape to draw the side of the face because I've got this as well that I can add into the sides. That's just informing me where the cheek and everything is. And we can pull it down and put the jawline in. Like this. It's got quite a square head, but with big rounded cheeks. And if you guys want any more indication on drawing all these awkward angles, that's again included in the last video that I did on drawing faces at difficult angles, which there will be a link to at the end of the video if you haven't gone and watched that first and then I can go and add there we go let's give him let's give him a big mouth like that got ourselves a dude <laughs> and he's got a neck like a tree trunk and lastly let's pull down these sides of his face to figure out where his ears need to go depending on the angle he is at there there we go Okay, now let's draw one at a slightly different angle that's going to let us show off the curve of the side of the face just on its own. So let's, let's make someone really pointy. Let's make a pointy dude with really high eyebrows like this. It's a set of very high pointy cheekbones and a little skinny pointy chin like so. <laughs> And I do want to mention, like I think I did in the last one, this isn't just something that I've come up with randomly. This is from studying faces a whole bunch and kind of mixing techniques and ideas that I've seen other people do and just coming up with my own mainly from studying, like trying to improve on, on it and figure out something that works best for me. So this kind of stuff will help, but you're going to be able to learn a whole lot more just from like drawing and drawing and drawing and <laughs> looking at references and seeing how stuff works um, and figuring it out for yourself. Let's put a nose in the middle there and we can have some chops and we can bring out pointy, pointy cheekbones and down to his tiny chin. And then we can go and put his jawbone in. And on this one too, I'm going to pull this around a little bit. We're going to mark his jawbone up here and bring it down this way like that. Forward a little bit. We're going to pull the shape from his eyebrows back and from his nose. And get placement for his ear. Make it a little bit bigger than it needs to be because it kind of suits him. Give him another side of his nostril to finish his face off. Let's put the details in his ear. And there we go, we've got another dude. I am actually, I'm going to go and shade these in a minute just to show you guys how it can change the way you shade things. Make it just a little bit easier for you. Okay, so we've got two. Let's go and do the third one. And on this one, I'm going to move the mouth around a little bit. So we're going to have it open. And maybe we'll pull the eyebrows up a little bit. Okay, so still paying attention to that curve at the top and the angle that that is going at. Bring, let's, let's bring the eyebrows up like this. And then as the face kind of warps and it gets pulled down, instead of just having a 
this kind of shape. For the chin, it's, it's gonna pull in and down a little bit because as the jaw goes down like this, instead of the face just being flat like this, we're gonna get kind of a separation of it and it's gonna end up at this kind of angle like that. So we're gonna end up with the top of the jaw with the teeth up here and the bottom with those teeth down there. <laughs> Copy that curve to the other side and pull it down to where the bottom of the chin is. But yeah, de definitely make sure to account for the curve that you get when, the when there's an open mouth. And because I've got already some lines plotted out on this to figure out where everything is, I can do that for where the teeth are at the top, bottom too. So we're gonna get two different curves from by plotting this out really solid and then we can work out where the lips are going to be. Let's give him a nose because the nose isn't going to move, the nose is in its spot and then we've got, got these curves for the teeth that are fine. You can curve them inwards as well so that we get that bit in the same way that the head curves around like this, like the sheet of paper and we get the other side of the face. We're going to do that with the teeth as well so that they make sense inside the head and then we can go and give him some chops. Let's just pull the eyebrows and the nose back again and give him an ear. And we can pull cheekbone down too, by there. Okay, so I've got my sketches for these done. I am gonna clean them up a little bit to show you guys and then we're gonna mess about with the shading on them. One last thing I quickly wanna show you guys is that although I use this to block the face out, that's kind of really, really simplified. It just helps me with what I mentioned and getting like basic lighting down. But there are so many little variations you can do with this because if you wanted to, you can just go and keep nibbling into all these different shapes that appear out of this because you're gonna have like a shape underneath the um, eyebrow that goes to where the eye is. You can have this shape underneath the eye. You can have this shape above the nose here you can have it as it comes down to the bottom of the nose pieces at the side and underneath and you can just keep carving this out into basically as many shapes as you like especially if you go and study the anatomy of a face and start picking up on all the different planes and then you can start warping them around and having a bunch of fun with them um but you can see as i do it more it's starting to look like a little bit weird so it really depends like how much you want to simplify it and if you want to get that technical with it or if you want stuff to be a little bit more loose. And I am going to go over some of this actually and the way that I simplify more of the features into shapes like these in some of the other videos that I want to do where I'm focusing more on just the features. There are so many little shapes in the face that you can go and pull out and exaggerate and draw from to the point where you can get something that is just an expression of all the different planes of the face like something like this. Okay so I've cleaned these up a little bit with some lines and now I'm just going to go and put some different values on to show you guys how these shapes can help you with light in the face and understanding the structure of it and giving it a little bit of depth that can be quite difficult to do. So I'm just going to use the selection tool and I'm going to go and grab some chunks of this dude's face to light up. And we're gonna follow the front of his face. So the front of it's being lit up. So around his cheeks, around the shape's gonna get lit up. His chops here are gonna get lit up. It's gonna get quite a lot on his chin and up this way where it's curving around the front face of it. So let's block that in and then we can go and clean it up a little bit because his cheeks are so big it's gonna wrap around a little bit higher up like that and I'm gonna light up the top of his head just around the edge a little bit more and let's give him a little bit on top of his ears where they're gonna get hit with the light too and a tiny little bit around his shoulders where the light's gonna fall down onto and this is a basic way that I start out all of those examples that I was showing you guys earlier that are a little bit more finished. I can go and start putting little gradients on this like that if I want to start going and rendering it out a little bit more, which again is what I do on those more finished examples that I showed you guys earlier so that we can start to indicate at those other little bits where it's going to curve around. And if I was to start going and adding in some darker colours, 
do that just a little bit really quickly if you started adding like this in under here and under his chin where he wants a little bit of shadow um, and around under his jaw bones. You can start to see how this shape is really helping me to figure out the structure of the face and where everything needs to go and where the planes are facing like I mentioned earlier. So of course we've got these ones facing like upward. We've got planes that face upward like on the front of his face and then as it curves around it starts to face outwards the other way so we're gonna get these little like it's a shadow around here and we're not gonna catch as much light around the bottom sides of his jaw that face more outwards. So it's, it's not just something that's gonna help you draw him but it's also gonna inform your shading um, just by indicating a little bit of the different planes in the structure and where they're facing. A little bit of bounce light around the side of them chops. It's gonna be coming back up from where it's on his shoulders. Being able to see all these planes is just making it so, so much easier for me to go and calculate where all of this needs to go. And this is definitely kind of an exaggerated example so that you can really see that structure. But all you'd need to do is just make it a little bit softer. Okay, let's have a look at this next one too, and let's do some lighting from the side. So we're gonna select down this shape and around the edge of the eyebrow and up to where it's just gonna come around the cheek like this and down the side of the face. And back up the side and let's fill that in as one big chunk right now. And we're also gonna get a little bit that's gonna come over this way and just hit the nose. So we've got more of a light coming from the side on this one. And I'm just gonna block this in really, really chunky so that we can see the rest of where the lighting is. And we might even get a little bit on the chops. And let's do the same as on the last one and get the airbrush on the go just to ease out some of these shapes. And like I mentioned earlier, to kind of understand all the other little shapes in the face, you do want to go and like study pictures and draw from them. And what I like to do quite a lot is just kind of go and draw over the shapes. And it also helps to look at ones with really strong lighting like this so that you get a better idea of the structure rather than ones that don't have very, very sharp lighting because you get a far better indication of the shapes that are present in it put a few more little values on this. Let's get some kind of mid-tones on the go, just on the cheek, especially in between. And let's check this one as well by turning our lines off. And we can see the structure with that too. Along the side of the face, we can see that it's symmetrical from this side across to this side with the curve of the cheek and also around and down the side of the face. It mirrors each other even though it's at a different difficult angle. Let's let's put in the hair as well so that we can tell where that is and give us a hairline and that's going to give also a better indication of the curve of the head. And let's have a go at doing the last one. I'm going to do this one lit from underneath. So we're going to have big chunks like this on the underside of everything. So we've got the cheeks coming around here and then the underside is by there. Pull that down, we're going to have some on the top lip here. We might get a little bit on the eyebrows up here, but it's going to get kind of faded out later. But because that's pointing down, it's going to catch a lot more of the light. We can get some on the underside of the eyelids. And pull that shape down and the underside of the chin. Okay, so there's a little bit more of that blocked in. I'm going to get my gradient on this again so that we get more of a gradient from the top to the bottom. I don't want it to be as light at the top as it is at the bottom. And I'm just going to fade out all these little bits that are going to have curves on them. So at the tops of the cheeks and around the edges of them. Okay, and there we go. There's that one noodled out a little bit more. Let's see it without the lines on. And... Again, we can see that looks like a face with structure on it, even though we don't have all the lines on. And stick them back on for a second, flip it the right way around. And let's just draw back out where I've put that base shape on to work around. So it's down here and around there, where I've slightly left the lines on. And it pulls all the way back around here. And we've got symmetrical shape that is the same 
on the other side and then if I line them up they make sense with the perspective of the face and when I get rid of them you can see that in the lighting as well Okay, so with all three of those, I've gone and done a few different little variations just so that you guys can see the shape and structure of the face with a couple of different types of lighting on it, lighting up different planes of the face. And uh, yeah, there we go, we're done. And thanks for watching, lads. I hope this helped. If it did, give us a like, share if you think it'll help someone else, and subscribe for new videos on Fridays. There'll be a link down in the description to the Discord group if you want to come and chat out stuff with us. There'll also be links to everywhere that I post stuff as well as my Redbubble where you can get prints of stuff that I've already drawn and my commission information. Lastly, here's a few links to some relevant videos. I'll put up a link to a playlist of drawing tutorials as well as the previous face tutorial that I mentioned where I plot out my original formula that this is an addition to. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching lads. Bye bye <laughs>